I was well, telling him about Bart Rosk. Hold this mic up. Joining uh, us now that is Stan Bart Roskovich is going to be brought in as your assistant former coach. Former defenseman. <laughs> That's where we are. Coach. We are off oh. the tracks. Oh. Call up Bart. You need a defensive coordinator. We do. We do. He would be great. There's about nobody out there who's laughing at that joke. <laughs> but you and I. <laughs> I'm laughing at the fact that you coached this guy I did. back in the days at Boys Live. A long one, time one, ago. One of my first years in coaching. Well, Stan, as we, as we look at the Florida launch and, and, and what you guys are trying to do, we know that it's a roster made up players after the games. of Hamilton <laughs> Nationals. Uh, what was the goal with this draft, and how do you feel like it's gone so far? I feel like we did a great job picking up the guys we needed. I think, you know, when we traded Joe Walters, we needed somebody to try filling in that role uh, to be able to get Crowley the ball, and I think we got somebody that can do that. I think he can dodge, and I think he's going to help us at the offensive end. And, and as you look at... Muir, Creighton, and Nico Mano, guys that, that all offer defensive presence. They do, but they're also playing in the best competition in the NCAA. We're all ACC players, they're all great players. You know, Creighton is a one heck of an athlete. He's, he's doing, um, in the weight room, he's leading the team in vertical jump and in some of their testing that he does. Nick Amato sees the best shots in the, in the country with the schedule that they play. And Joe Mary, he plays a lot of, uh, He's covering the number one attackman game in and game out. So I think we did a great job in our draft picking guys that can come in and help us right away. You talked about bringing over some of the, the foundations that made Denver a successful program. What would those be? You know, I think we're going to play team ball, and we're going to play as much as you can team defense in this league. You know, I, I would love to be able to have four practices leading up to a game. I think when you only have one or two practices or one practice and a walkthrough before a game, there's not a lot of stuff you can do. You know, you watch film of the team, you're like, this is what I would love to do when you play a team, but this is what we got to do with the preparation time that we have. So you got to find guys that can kind of play in a system and that can work well together. And I think we got some system guys that can do that. What, what's the biggest challenges that you're facing right now as a franchise? Uh, venue, ticket sales, like big picture stuff? Well, I think we're still, we're still looking for a venue. You know, we're, we're, we're putting the pieces together. Uh, you know, we still got to figure out our roster with some of the guys, you know, transition, a lot of guys living in Canada and, and, and up in the north, uh, central New York area, getting those guys and figuring out how we're going to get them down to Florida for the games, I think is going to be a little bit of a challenge as well. Beyond the challenges though, Stan, you're a guy who lives in Florida, works uh, in the high school level you know, as a, a dean of students, what can we expect from the fans there? Are, are they hungry for a professional oh, it's team? Gonna, I think the fans are going to be great. I mean, you look at Florida, there's there's no college teams down there. There's a couple D2 teams. But we're going to be a draw. I think we're going to be important. You saw the All-Star game down there. They had close to 5,000 people for that. Last year's game, they had almost 4,000 people for. You know, I think we're going to be drawn. You got guys like Brett Queener who are going to get the fans excited. I mean, the display he put down in the All-Star game down there, people are still talking about. You know, I, I think we've got Casey Powell now, a local guy. Um, uh, Cooper Smith, who, who, who grew up down there and played at St. Andrews. You know, we're, we're getting some guys that are going to be some names for the Florida people to really wrap their arms around. And yeah, when you think about, yeah, Casey Powell, Kevin Crowley, Tucker Durkin, Queener's personality, there's a lot for the fans to, to rally around. I, I think so. And I think we got, you know, I think our defense, we're going to be a defensive-minded team. I think that's going to help. I think our middies, you know, one of the things that I think we did at Denver, we did really well, is have middies that can play two ways. Guys that can play defense and can maybe trap an offensive midfielder on the field. You know, and I think we got guys on our schedule that can do that. And uh, I think that's really going to help us in, the, in this year at Florida. Well, Stan, thanks so much for joining us. No problem. Good luck.